Hey everybody, RetroPyGuy here. Today I want to go over how to add additional ROMs to your pre-existing Pyboy DMG game collection card. This is a super easy process, however there are a few things you're going to need. If you have a Raspberry Pi 400 that you have the Raspberry Pi operating system on, that makes for the best um, system to go into your game collection cards on and add additional ROMs. However, you can use regular PC uh, or Apple computer. Though I have heard some people having issues with opening their game collection cards on different computers, I always use my Raspberry Pi 400 with the Raspberry Pi operating system just because I, I find it so much easier to use uh, Raspberry Pi products with Raspberry Pi products. So um, that takes out all the complications, but again, if you do have other devices, you can do the same thing. It just may work a little bit differently, or you may run into some problems. Um, I don't go that route, so I'm not 100% sure about that, but um, it's certainly worth a try. So first thing you're going to need is a micro SD card reader, which plugs into your computer via the USB port. You're going to take your game collection card out of your Pi Boy DMG and insert that into your micro SD card reader that's plugged into your computer via the USB port. Once you do that, you'll typically get a prompt that asks you if you want to open it, just like this one here. I'm going to select OK, and that's going to open up my game collection card here. So once you're into your game collection card, we need to go over here to your RetroPie partition. And if we go into the home folder, we'll go into the Pi folder and then the RetroPie folder. And here you'll find your ROMs. If you double click on the ROMs, this opens up all your different folders. Each folder is a different uh, game console collection. So you can see we have, you know, arcade, Atari 800, Atari 2600, Atari 5200, all the way through everything that's on your game collection card. So if you have the RetroPie Guy um, 256 gigabyte game collection card for the Pie Boy DMG, which is what I'm using here, it's gonna look just like this one does. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna have your ROMs already installed on your computer. I went and put them in this folder here. Today I'm gonna to be adding the Game Boy Advance ROMs here. So if I double click here, you can see these are the four ROMs I wanna add into my game collection card. Now these are already on this particular game collection card that we put out. I'm just demoing it with these four games today. I took them out and I'm gonna put them right back in just for demonstration purposes. So in order to add these, you need to first establish which ROMs you're gonna be adding onto your card and for which system um, they go to, just so you know exactly which folder to go ahead and insert them into. So like I said, these are Game Boy Advance, which you can see right here, GBA. So we're gonna go over to our ROMs folder and we're gonna look up our Game Boy Advance folder. So you can see here, GBA. So if we just double click on that, it's gonna open up all of our Game Boy Advance ROMs. So in order to add these over, we're just going to highlight them here and slide them right over. So just drop them into an open area like this. They're gonna automatically drop into alphabetical order, which these are all numbers, so they should populate, yeah, right across here. The first four match up, and that's really all we need to do. So now we can go ahead and X out this here. We know that they're fully added onto our game collection card here. So we can go ahead and X this out, and you wanna make sure that you eject this properly. So if you look up here, I have the eject button. Now, if you're on a PC or an Apple computer, it's going to be a little bit different, but typically they're going to show up um, on the sides. So if we opened up this card again here, um, I also have it here too. So you could just hit the eject button on here and that's going to properly eject your um, SD card from your computer. So if I hit that, it's no longer showing up anywhere. So I can go ahead and pull that out of my USB port on my computer now. And now all we have to do from this point on is we need to just take our SD card out of our micro SD card reader, insert it into our Pi Boy DMG and go ahead and boot that up. You're gonna find that those ROMs that you just went in and added are going to be in your collection. So in this case, we went and added four Game Boy Advance games. So if we look on our Pi Boy DMG, we'll find those four ROMs in our Game Boy Advance collection on there. Um, again, this is gonna be whichever collection you're adding to is where you're going to find those ROMs. Now you will have to go in and scrape those. We do have an additional video uh, available here on our YouTube channel that goes over how to scrape things. And that's going to be so you can find like your box art or uh, video previews. If you're doing video previews, it'll find your um, 
description, all that stuff. So it just makes for a really neat and organized setup on your Pi Boy DMG. So I've been getting this question a lot. I just wanted to go over this really briefly with you. It's a super easy process. Um, there are other ways that you can do this. You could go in through your um, Wi-Fi network and add them in remotely. Though I find that this works really well, just uh, going in through the micro SD card reader. Um, sometimes it's a little bit more reliable, a little bit more straightforward, um, especially if you aren't super techy and um, you know familiar with these processes. So that's going to do it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of different uh, gameplay demos, product reviews, tutorials just like this one. And we're going to be doing a lot of virtual pinball machine um, stuff in the future too. So definitely check back with us. We're going to have a lot of really cool content coming out in the super near future. And then of course, check us out online, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.